Yo, this is Skepsis. I'm here in the studio and I'm going to show you a quick breakdown to the bass on my track Freak with TS7. Okay, so this is Freak, which is my collaboration with TS7. Um, and it's maybe my biggest track in terms of numbers and stuff. Um, so I just thought I'd show you a quick breakdown. Um, I mean, I'll just play you a snippet of the track quickly. It's quite... Um, it's quite a simple track. Yeah, so it's obviously got this really sort of melodic bass line which is leading um so all these sounds are made in massive um the old massive not the new one so what have we got on top so this is the top layer um yeah so i guess it's really about just trying to like fill out the whole like frequency spectrum um, so obviously that's kind of like the high end and then got one in the middle here obviously that's kind of beefing it out and then another mid one here I mean that sounds a bit rubbish on its own but it just kind of I'd say it does make a bit of a difference without this is weird gives it a bit of like warmth as well um, and then obviously the sub I always split the sub and the main bass because I feel like it gives more control um, so I'll just make an EQ and cut the low end from the bass and then I'll have a separate sub here um, the subs quite it's very like it's bouncy because I've side chained it through the compressor um, and I, I mean as I mentioned I do I really like the logic compressors um, some of the settings like give you a lot of, of, of power yeah so all together <laughs> And then on the switch, I just added one little extra one in to create a sort of new new sonic. So in terms of the actual sound, um, I made this sound in massive. And yeah, I th I'd say I was quite known for like the sort of melodic bass which is still uh, quite hard hitting which is quite a hard sort of middle ground to find um, I mean I'd say the key to this one is the frequency shifter in Logic I mean sorry in Massive um, it's one of these inserts down here so you would actually be quite amazed if I turn this off It just sounds quite flat. Just yeah, it just gives it a really nice tone. And then the uh, the parabolic shaper as well. I feel like you can get a lot more out of Serum, but Massive is just historically what I've I've always used. Um, yeah, so, and then just really messing around with like the oscillators and the, the wavetables. Yeah, so that's the, uh, the bass in Freak.